Salutations, this is Craze Kitsune, aka Kumazi Tayun, and welcome to Summoner for Dummies level 60. In this video, I'm going to be going over the new abilities available to Summoner at level 60 that they didn't have at level 50, and what effects, if any, these have on how you play. With the introduction out of the way, let's go take a look at the new actions and traits. Starting in traits, we have... We have me apologizing for having to mute my mic because I'm stuffy. That's what the clicking noise was, by the way. My mic muting and unmuting. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on to the new traits that you acquire after level 50. At level 54, you get Ruin Mastery, which will replace Ruin with Ruin 3, which is why I couldn't demonstrate Ruin in my level 50 video. I'm already level 60. I can't use Ruin. It's replaced completely. And at level 60, you get Enhanced Intelligence 3, which increases your intelligence by 24. And that's all the traits we can cover for this video. The rest of them, as you can see, are grayed out because I'm not level 70 yet, and I won't be talking about them until I am. So, let's go look at the actions. At level uh, 52, you acquire Pain Flare. This is a 5-second cooldown ability. It has a 5 yelm radius centered on the targeted enemy and inflicts a potency 200 attack to the enemy and everything around it. It costs you 1 eth it costs you one Ether Flow and Ethereal Attunement. We will be getting to, actually, fairly shortly. At level 54, when you get Ruin Mastery, you acquire Ruin 3. This is a global cooldown, two and a half second cast time attack spell. It costs the same as Ruin, actually, and it is potency 130. And as you can see, it has no cast time while in Dreadworm Trance. <laughs> that is something we'll be dealing with in just a, in just a couple seconds, actually, because it's the uh, you can see it just over there after Tri Disaster. At level 56, we get Tri Disaster, which is a 60 second cooldown. And it will inflict your uh, Bio 2 and Miasma, or whatever Bio or Miasma spells you have available at the, at the level when you use it. Because, as you can see there in the bottom right corner, there's a Bio 3. There's also a Miasma 3. But, it... Oh also has the effect of inflicting the target with Ruination for 20 seconds, which will increase the potency of any Ruin spell used against that target by 20. So my Ruin 3 becomes a potency 150 attack for the next 15 seconds after I hit something with Tri Disaster. Very nice. With Dreadworm Trance, you acquire it at level 58, it is a 20 second cooldown but, there's a catch. You can only use it if you have three Ethereal Attunements. You obtain Ethereal Attunement by using Ether Flow stacks. Every stack you use gives you an Ethereal Attunement. <laughs> Once you're at three, you can activate Dreadworm Trance. Dreadworm Trance lasts for 15, 16 seconds. It will make you deal 10% more magic damage for its duration. It also resets the... Uh, Recast Timer for Tri Disaster, so you can put a 10% damage buffed set of dots up and benefit from having a stronger ruin while you are using, while you have higher magic damage. It also removes the cast time from Ruin 3 so that it's instant cast, allowing you to pop cooldowns in, in between your casts more easily. And it removes the bind effect from Tribind and increases its potency by 50, by 50 and reduces its MP cost, making it a more viable means of doing area damage if you need to. And since you can't get any more Aetherflow stacks until you activate Dreadworm Trance and use up your Ethereal Attunement, 
you might as well go Dreadroom Trance every time you've used up all of your Ether Flow, which will probably be about once every 60 seconds. Um, you cannot execute Ether Flow while under the effect of Dreadworm Trance. And while you have Ethereal Attunements up, those slots cannot be given another Ether Flow stack. So once you have three Ethereal Attunements, Ether Flow just gives you MP. <clears throat> while you're in Dreadworm Trance, you can't even use it. And, uh... Yeah, it's very powerful. And now for the final skill you acquire in the uh, range of level... Fifth, uh, of up to level 60, Death Flare. This is a 15 second cooldown instant cast attack. It has a 5 yelm radius centered on your target. It deals a potency 400 attack to your main target, <laughs> and the, the second target it hits will take 10% less damage, the third takes 20% less, the fourth takes 30% less, the fifth takes 60% less, and the 5th and beyond are taking half damage. But that still means that you're hitting them with a potency 200 attack that costs you no resources. <laughs> it can only be used while you're in Dreadworm Trance, and it ends your Dreadworm Trance upon use. <laughs> Dreadworm Trance lasts for 16 seconds. That gives you enough time to use 5 Ruin 3s, <laughs> and then use a Death Flare during the final second. That is how you can, and that is part of squeezing the most damage you can out of your Dreadworm Trance. But with all of that covered, I have already used my Ether Flow so that I have three stacks. So I'm going to show off the various abilities. Let's start with Pain Flare. Pretty. Now I can use that once every five seconds which makes it uh, a useful source of damage in AoE fights, because every five seconds, you can just do that. And now, I can activate Dreadworm Trance. So, let's, uh... Let's... Let's see... How am I gonna do this? Oh, I know. Try Disaster. Dreadworm Trance. Ruin 3. Try Disaster. Ruin 3. Ruin 3. Ruin 3. Ruin 3. Ruin 3. Ruin 3 Death Flare! Ah, I, d I timed that so horribly wrong. So let's do this a uh, little bit better. Because I want to show off Death Flare, darn it. Death Flare! <laughs> How beautiful is that? Now I'm gonna have to activate that one more time so I can show off the enhanced tribind, of course. But uh yeah. This is what Ruin 3 looks like when you use it normally. This is also what it looks like when they're uh, not even under the effects of Ruination and you're not dealing 10% more magic damage. Still, quite a pretty spell, isn't it? I like it. Now, for anyone wondering why I'm not showing off pets, well, literally nothing I have specifically alters my pets. So there's no reason to summon them. They don't serve a purpose. So... Let's just, uh, let's see. Yeah, look at how much less Tribine costs now. Death Flare! Yeah, Summoner's AoE damage gets a pretty significant spike during their Dreadworm Trances, which they can do basically every 60 seconds. So that's pretty glorious. But with that, I've shown everything that uh, Summoner gets at level 60. Perhaps not the optimal best way to make use of them, 
but the purpose of this video was just to give you the basics, the understanding, so that you can not be absolutely terrible and use it in really bad ways, such as activating Dread Room Prince and then immediately using Death Flare. You have 16 seconds of increased magic damage in which to spam Ruin 3 or Tribind. Do it. When you get down to the last, oh, two or three seconds, then you activate Death Flare. <laughs> but with that, I hope this has been informative and useful, and if not, well, I guess I'll just have to summon an ancient eldritch demon to punish me. Until my next video, goodbye.